family decent, you know, uh, uh, I say middle class or maybe a little bit above middle class. Uh, my mom was an international trader, uh, so she would go from Hong Kong to London to Saudi Arabia, um, um, selling lace and gold jewelry and the shoes, the bags, and all the fashion items. Uh, was what she was, she, she, was, she was trading in across uh, continents, you know, uh, and it was good, you know, I mean, she had, I think she had uh, four, three or four stores at, in, the, in the high street of Lagos Island, where they call Gotha, you know, anyone who's uh, old enough will know what I mean when I say Gotha, you know, that's where the, the, the women who had, you know, the, the, the Oxford uh, uh, street type shops were, were in the Lagos Island. And, and um, you know, um, so she, we were doing fairly well. Uh, we lived in a very protected type family as, as young kids um, because my mom used to travel a lot. So she was afraid that, you know, if she allowed us uh, and go out on the street, we'll become, you know, corrupt. So uh, uh, she, she would always keep us uh, indoors. Uh, we, we stayed by the window and we watched other kids play outside. So things like uh, playing ten ten and running around and all those things were luxuries because you couldn't access it. You know, we had a room full of toys, Lego, bowling, all of those things. You know, but we were bored of those ones because we had them. You know, we wanted to get on the street, get in the sand, get dirty with other kids. You know, uh, uh, and we couldn't access it. You know, uh, because she was afraid that you know we were going to go out of hand. Um, so we lived in that kind of environment, you know, as a child, and then, and then uh, we were able to play with our neighbors from time to time in, in, in the house. And there was one particular family uh, across uh, the rural castle that we were able to play with. Um, and so we grew up, you know, in that setting uh, until tragedy struck, you know, and 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 and, and um, things just turned around. Uh, um, my mom took ill and, and things just went south. You know, we moved from from the the all the high walls to you know high open door. We moved from uh, uh, um, um, drivers and cars to drive car with no driver, and then to no 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 driver no car, and then we moved from Kellogg's to Nasco from Nasco to cassava flakes <laughs> from cassava flakes to bread. <laughs> You know, it was all of that journey, um, um, and it was interesting. You know, on my on my thirtieth, when my uh, my office, we have a production company, Y Productions, and they were doing a video for my birthday, and we were interviewing my sister. And then I, when I was watching the video, she said, you know, she was so afraid of how I was going to cope. I mean, I was born in the UK, you know, I was the last one of the family, so I was pretty much like the the, the eyeball, you know, uh, I got anything I wanted as a, you know, that kind of thing. So she said she was afraid of how I was going to manage from Kellogg's to Nasco. And I laughed so hard when I was that. I mean, I'm thinking, people are drinking Gary without sugar. We are talking about how I was going to manage from Kellogg's to Nasco. You know, but the interesting thing was she said, you know, I was so hopeful, you know. So that helped me, which is why I've been speaking a lot when I do interviews about hope, because I didn't realize that I had been hopeful since I was a child. You know, she said I was so hopeful. And, and I would tell everybody, I mean, I was between five and seven, and I tell everyone at that time and say, don't worry, everything will be okay. Don't worry, mommy, everything will be fine. I tell my sister, don't worry. You know, I tell everyone, you know, just, just be strong, stay, you know. And, and it was it was quite 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 interesting. Um, um so that's why I, I, I realized that I have lived on a street called Hope for a long, for a long, long time. Um and 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 all that time. When we then moved out from the circle of being protected, you know, we had freedom to roam around. That was when I found myself. Or rather, I went on a journey to find myself. So I started making friends and I found that I always made friends with older people, more older people than my age. I wanted to hear the experiences. I wanted to learn what they knew. I wanted to see life from how they saw it. You know, and then I would also read books. You know, the first books I read were James Hadley Chase, Mills and Bones. You know, there were books I read very inappropriate for my age. You know, I found in my grandma's, in my grandmother's study, um, but they didn't show me things. They didn't open my mind. I mean, I read James Patterson, I read Daniel Steele, I read Jeffrey Archer. I was barely 14, you know, and these books would travel, take me around the world, and I could be in my, you know, Lagos, Sioux, Larry, and be transported to Vietnam and to Australia. You know, my mind opened up. 
you know, I realized that there was more to life and more that you can do and things you can, you know, achieve. You know, and so I think from then on, something happened in me. That's why I like to say that information is so key. What you don't know, you can't access. You know, when the Bible talks about treasures and hidden places and God opening your eyes, this is it, the books, the people, the wisdom, the information, you know, breaks you and takes you into another level. And so I knew that there was more to life. So at 14, you know, when I was literally on this side of the wall, you know, in a room, you know, I mean, with, with my mom and there was no light and mosquitoes, you know, and I was afraid of war geckos, I can see behind me, you know, and literally, literally the picture in there. And yes, we did use lanterns, as you can see there. You know, and at 14 one morning, I woke up and I thought, life can't be more than this. And I think I found Christ at 14 as well. I'd gone to a church, a redeemed church behind my house, and I'd heard this message that scared me so much, but also gave me hope. You know, I'd given my life to Christ. And since then, it's been an incredible journey of finding my path, finding my feet, um, um, and leaving home, you know, uh, leaving home to go and find myself. Um, that's the first thing I tried to do. I didn't leave at once, you know, so for people who find, who say, my parents don't allow me, this don't allow me, I didn't leave at once, you know. I said, moving gradually, you know, I would stay out one, two days, come back, stay out here late, you know, just, and then managing and letting them know, listen, this is what I'm doing, you know, this I'm trying to find my faith, this is what, you know, and all of that. Uh, um, um, and I had the family that was supportive of me, you know, because my sisters are queens, especially the first one, you know, she was amazing, supportive of me. Um, and, the, and the journey took me until I started, you know, working. I started trying to, started, started trying to be an actor. Um, and then from there, I, I, I tried to, um, to um, work with um, um, with uh, NT at that time. I also worked with um, a psychologist at that time, Jerome. He was an amazing man. Um, he helped me understand myself better because uh, he used to run personal assistance on people. So I'm going to advise anyone who's watching, you know, if you can find the tools, MBTI, DISC, you should ha get those tools. It will help you understand yourself. It will help you understand the fundamentals of your life you know, um, to be able to find your path. And I think really that was how it began, me getting on the concrete and trying to find myself. Hi, my name is Adebola Williams, CEO Red. Owners of Red Media Africa, Statecraft, Y Niger, uh, The Future Was Africa, and many more. I am young and I am on a mission to make Africa great again. That this color black be synonymous with greatness around the world.